The next question says, a thin uniform square lamina of side A is placed in the xy plane with its side parallel to x and y axis and its center coinciding with the origin. That square you can see over here, the center coinciding with the origin of x and y axis and the side of this is given as A. Further the question says, its moment of inertia about an axis passing through a point on the y axis at a distance y equal to 2a and parallel to x axis is equal to its moment of inertia about an axis passing through a point on the x axis at a distance x equal to d and perpendicular to xy plane the value of d is. Now here are the two axes which is mentioned one is this which is at a distance 2a and it is parallel to x axis and the other axis is over here which is going to be perpendicular to the plane and at a distance d from the origin. Okay, So they have given i1 is equal to i2 and we are supposed to find the value of d. Now we need to understand that i1 over here we can calculate by using parallel axis theorem. So i1 will be ix plus mh square where h is 2a. So ix will be ma square by 12 considering this square as a rod for which x axis is the axis of passing through its center. So ma square by 12 plus m times h square where h is 2a. So m 2a the whole square. So this becomes 4 ma square. 12 into 4 48 plus 48 plus 1 is 49 ma square by 12. So we got the value of i1. Now we need to concentrate on i2. Now since i2 is the axis perpendicular to the plane, we need to take the axis perpendicular to the plane and passing through the center for parallel axis theorem which is nothing but iz. So for calculating iz we need to use perpendicular axis theorem which is ix plus iy. Since it is a square ix and iy with both will be the same which is ma square by 12 that gives us ma square by 6. So i2 is iz plus mh square. So iz is ma square by 6 mh square where h is d the distance between the two parallel axes. So md square. Now we got the value of i1, we got the value of i2, we need to equate them because they are equal given. So 49 ma square by 12 is ma square by 6 plus md square. Taking ma square by 6 on this side and multiplying dividing this by 2, we get 49 ma square minus 2 ma square by common 12, which is 47 a square by 12. The square root of that after cancelling m, we get root of 47 by 12 a as the final answer.